just misses with the kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Understanding the transition. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To get the combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination. Take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. Absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee.
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a strike here. He is forced to be reckoned with tonight. He doesn't draw the guy who will look for this. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man, in that point. That inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponents. Look at him flip his hip on that kick. Unable to connect with the right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Good jab. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, just misses with the kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Understanding the transition. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent's got to move out of harm's way. A referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, round two. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's the chicken. Oh! Absolutely devastating. 
stating he took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO!